Hello, everyone. Welcome to our recap of the enigmatic sci-fi film Mission to Mars, directed by Brian De Palma and released in March 2000. This gripping tale begins with a pioneering human expedition to Mars that quickly spirals into the disaster following a perilous encounter. A team of seasoned astronauts is rapidly assembled on the World Space Station for a daring rescue mission. As they navigate the cosmos, they unravel profound mysteries about Mars and the destiny of their lost crewmates. Will they uncover any survivors? What secrets lie hidden on the Martian surface? Join us as we explore the revelations of Mission to Mars 2000. A farewell party is hosted for the astronauts to embark on a Mars mission the following day. Among them is Nicholas, the rebellious type aiming for a final romantic encounter before departure. Woody and Terry, the sole married duo, are also part of the team. Sergey and Rene represent the international contingent. Phil and Luke will lead separate teams. Luke anticipates the arrival of another astronaut, Jim, while his wife suggests he should spend some time with his son, Bobby, before leaving. Luke and Bobby share a moment, with Bobby expressing how much he will miss his father. Luke comforts him by promising to read the same book in space as Bobby will on Earth, symbolizing their connection despite the distance. Jim eventually arrives, lifting everyone's spirits at the gathering. However, the mood shifts when Jim brings up a woman named Maggie, causing a wave of sorrow among the friends. A private talk between Jim and Luke later reveals that Maggie, Jim's wife and fellow astronaut, had long aspired to journey to Mars with him. Tragically, she fell ill as their dream neared reality, leading Jim to exit the program to care for her until her passing. Luke deeply regrets that Jim and Maggie couldn't fulfill their dream, highlighting their deservingness more than anyone. Although Jim appears resigned, his sadness is palpable after Luke departs. Thirteen months later, Luke, Rene, Sergey, and Nick successfully landed on Mars. Their rover detects an intriguing mountain with a reflective peak, leading them to speculate the presence of ice and potentially a vast water reserve beneath. The team promptly communicates their findings to the World Space Station, where Woody, Terry, Phil, and Jim are stationed. They inform the station of their plans to explore this peculiar mountain further. Upon approaching the mountain, a bizarre signal disrupts their headsets. Utilizing radio wave radar, they discover that the mountain's composition is metallic under its dusty exterior, contrary to their initial assumption of ice. Luke, skeptical, instructs his team to reposition the radar for a more robust and precise reading. This adjustment triggers a powerful energy pulse from the mountain, rendering all their equipment inoperative. Simultaneously, a tornado forms, exhibiting almost sentient behavior as it engulfs everything in its path, ultimately claiming the lives of Sergei, Rene, and Nick, though Luke narrowly survives. In the aftermath, the tornado reveals a colossal metal face where the mountain once stood. Back at the World Space Station, an urgent meeting is convened in response to the energy surge detected from Mars. Following this event, communication is nearly severed. A fragmented video transmission surfaces displaying a severely wounded Luke reporting the demise of his entire team in an unidentified attack. Woody advocates for a rescue mission to save Luke. However, the station's captain hesitates, citing the uncertainty of Luke's survival and the abrupt halt in transmissions, questioning the safety of a potential rescue operation to Mars. Phil suggests using data from a Saturn probe nearing Mars to help plan their mission. The captain, initially hesitant, agrees after Woody insists that Jim must pilot the spacecraft. Jim's extensive training and work with Maggie on the Mars mission designs make him indispensable. Eventually, the captain consents, and several months later, Jim, Woody, Terry, and Phil are approaching Mars. During the journey, Phil whimsically creates DNA strands from candies, which Jim, arriving on the scene, playfully eats. Woody informs Jim that the Saturn probe will soon provide crucial data for their Mars landing. The probe transmits images showing three graves at the previous team's base camp. Phil interprets this as a sign that Luke might be alive, but Terry counters, suggesting it simply indicates no one was left to perform burials. The images also reveal that the site of the energy pulse continues to emit the same disturbances, raising concerns about the probe's accuracy. As their Mars entry looms, a barrage of micrometeoroids punctures their spacecraft, causing air leaks. With help from the team, 
Woody manages to seal the breaches both from inside and outside. Unbeknownst to them, the meteoroids have also compromised their fuel tanks. A catastrophic explosion tears through their ship as they descend into Mars' atmosphere and ignite the engines. With no alternatives, the crew is forced to exit into space, suited up and tethered together. They desperately set a course for a refueling module orbiting Mars, left from prior missions. The refueling module is further than anticipated, prompting Woody to devise a risky plan. He uses a grappling gun wire attached to his jetpack, propelling himself at full speed towards the module to secure the wire, thereby giving his teammates a safer route. He successfully attaches the wire, but overshoots, stranded in space without jetpack fuel. Terry is heartbroken and insists on rescuing Woody, but both Jim and Woody recognize it as futile due to their limited fuel. Despite the risks, Terry tries to rescue Woody. He urges her to turn back to avoid a similar fate. Terry makes a second attempt with the grappling gun, but the wire falls short. Determined, she moves to get closer. Realizing Terry might sacrifice herself in the effort, Woody removes his helmet, sacrificing himself to ensure she stops. This tragic turn allows Jim, Terry, and Phil to land the module on Mars safely. Upon reaching the previous mission's base camp, they discover that much of the equipment was damaged but salvageable enough for a potential return. Jim is astonished to find plants thriving in the experimental greenhouse. At that moment, Luke, in dire condition and delirious, suddenly attacks Jim, mistaking him for a hallucination. Jim manages to calm Luke by sharing that he's reading the same book on Mars that his son Bobby reads on Earth, proving the reality of their encounter. Luke then explains how he survived by cultivating plants in the greenhouse for a year. Luke shares the harrowing details of the incident that claimed his team's lives. He believes he was spared and chosen for a specific purpose, to unravel a mystery. He introduces Jim and the others to a photograph of the colossal metal face they encountered, revealing it as the same face on Mars, famously captured by satellites and mistaken for a mountain. Luke posits that this enigmatic structure was intentionally placed to be discovered. When Jim inquires about the strange signal detected near the face, Luke explains his year-long analysis. He discovers that the signal's pattern represents a DNA strand, serving as a self-portrait by the creators of the face, symbolizing their identity. Terry points out a missing pair of chromosomes in the DNA sequence during this revelation, indicating it's non-human. As the team prepares to return to Earth, Jim accidentally spills some candies, reminiscent of his earlier conversation with Phil. This triggers a realization. The DNA image isn't merely a signature, it's a challenge. The creators wanted them to complete the missing chromosome pair to prove their humanity. Their radar's radio waves triggered the attack on Luke's team, which the creators misinterpreted as a failed response. Jim proposes reconfiguring the radar to transmit the correct answer by emulating the complete DNA sequence. Despite initial reservations, he persuades the team to correct their response. Failing to do so would render their sacrifices meaningless and doom the mission to be a futile endeavor. To ensure safety, they dispatch a rover to the face with the radar to transmit the corrected radio wave, solving the DNA puzzle. As a result, a white doorway materializes on the face. Jim, Terry, and Luke opt to explore it, instructing Phil to prepare the return module for departure, irrespective of their return. Entering the white doorway, the trio is cut off from radio communication with Phil. Inside, they discover breathable air and remove their helmets. They step into a 3D representation of the solar system, where Mars is depicted as a vibrant blue and green planet, narrating a historical tale. According to the story, Mars once harbored life until a catastrophic meteor strike. A slender red entity materializes and continues the narrative. The inhabitants of Mars fled their planet in spaceships to settle across various galaxies. However, one ship remained on Mars, storing the DNA of its passengers. This ancient ship journeyed to Earth, carrying the seeds of life, single-cell organisms that eventually evolved into modern humans. Thus, the narrative reveals that terrestrial life originated from Mars. The face on Mars was intended as a beacon for Earth's descendants to rediscover their origins. As they absorb this revelation, radio contact with Phil resumes. He warns of an impending storm and urges their swift return to the module for the journey back to Earth. 
Amidst this, Jim deduces that the face itself is a spacecraft, now initiating a countdown for launch. As Terry and Luke prepare to leave, Jim decides to stay behind, believing his destiny lies in meeting their Martian ancestors. He views this as his life's calling. Terry and Luke, though reluctant, respect his decision and hurriedly exit to catch the departing module, where Phil is almost ready to leave. Meanwhile, Jim is transported into a small ship and secured inside a compartment where the water fills rapidly. Initially panicked, Jim discovers he can breathe in the water, calming as memories of his life and his late wife, Maggie, flash before him. Filled with anticipation for his new journey, he settles into the experience. As Terry, Phil, and Luke ascend from Mars in the return module, they glimpse Jim's ship soaring past, embarking towards another galaxy. Luke watches the ship disappear into deep space, sending silent well wishes to his friend, now embracing his extraordinary destiny. What are your thoughts on the film's story? Please share your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more captivating stories like this. See you in the next video.